My name is Chris Detweiler. I'm the sales manager and associate broker for the Camp Hill office. And I'm here today to talk about the Apartment Dwellers Trade In Program. So when I think about Howard Hanna and the unique programs, the unique marketing programs we have, the first three that come to mind are the money back guarantee, um, the buy before you sell program, and the Apartment Dwellers Trade In Program. And I think what's important to note with all of these programs is they're not just buyer programs, they're actually programs that benefit the seller as well. So of course today I'm only talking about the Apartment Dwellers Trade In Program. So in a nutshell, what this program uh, accomplishes is that it allows a buyer, I'm sorry, a buyer and a current renter in a long-term lease to purchase uh, prior to expiration of that lease. Um, now, there are some requirements uh, that both the landlord and, and the buyer most, must meet, um, but it's, it's a, a legitimate program to, to help a buyer get into a, into a home a little bit sooner. So we'll examine first the buyer side of things. So um, the buyer uh, needs to enter into the apartment dwellers trading uh, program at time of contract. And what that states or what that stipulates is that they will be responsible for the first four months of payments. So I'll start this off by saying if you have a, a buyer that only has two or three months left, if they're in a month to month rental situation, the apartment dwellers trading program is not something they're going to want to use. But if they are five or more months um, in a long term lease, then it may be applicable. Now, the landlord is going to have to agree to allow them to sublet. So there will be some complexes and some landlords that will not allow sublet. So that's something we're going to have to check out up front. You know, the other thing I'll say about this is it's important to get with your manager and the regional manager to sign off on this. Ultimately, what happens is this. Um, they enter into this agreement at time of contract. The uh, tenant is responsible for those four months of uh, rent payments. Um, in a perfect world, it's re-rented within that four months and uh, everyone moves forward. Uh, there's a new tenant in place under the sublet. Uh, the buyer is settled in their home and they're in their new property. Now, what happens if those four months go by and the property is not rented? Well, in that scenario, Howard Hanna would take over the responsibility of not only uh, marketing to uh, potential renters, but also covering any rent payments that are due. And all of these fees uh, are, uh, are deducted from the commission. So there is some risk involved to the agent when they implement this program. That's why it's important that uh, you meet with your manager and you talk to your regional manager about this to make sure that it's, it's the right program uh, for this buyer and, and, in, and in that particular situation. But I think the important thing to note is these programs in many ways have more benefits uh, when we meet with the seller. And I know when I sit down and I speak with the seller, um, and, and, and talk to them about what Howard Hanna brings to the table. And the first thing I'm talking about is buyers. You know, the marketing we do, um, our website, um, our global reach. You know, we're going to expose that home and market that home to more buyers. And how do we do that? Well, the apartment dwellers trade in is potentially putting buyers um, in front of your home that typically wouldn't be ready to purchase yet. So it is a way to put more buyers in front of the seller's home. So it's something I talk about in a listing appointment every time. So when you're talking about the Apartment Dwellers Trade-In Program, you know, at first glance, it appears to be a buyer program, but it's not used very often. Um, more often than not, it's something we're discussing at the listing appointment to give value to Howard Hanna and what we do to market the home. And, and it really comes down to broadening, uh, uh, you know, the exposure of that property to the most buyers and, and then negotiating uh, the top price for the home. So I think, uh, you know, in a nutshell, uh, you know, that is the Apartment Dwellers Trade-In Program. We're not going to get into the, the actual forms, but again, there is, a, there is a, an agreement that the buyer has to sign at time of contract. And uh, that's something I think with your manager, you can sit down and, and review, uh, you know, uh, prior to meeting with your buyer and prior to offering the program.